Welcome to our demo of the vendor onboarding feature available in Beyond Trust Privilege Remote Access. IT teams want to get tools into vendors' and employees' hands quickly, but onboarding new third parties, vendors, or suppliers can be a time-consuming and repetitive process, one that's ripe for automation. Included with Privilege Remote Access, vendor onboarding securely eliminates the manual overhead of managing vendor teams and users by delegating portions of the vendor user administration to trusted sub-admins and vendor admins helping eliminate shared accounts while providing an easier path to adding new vendor users as they onboard versus the existing methodology and manual efforts. Here's how it works. Step one, let's create a group policy. Administrators create a new group policy type and assign it to a specific vendor. Once the administrator defines policy settings for the new group policy, they can assign a vendor admin to that policy. The vendor admin can manage the onboarding and offboarding of managed users for the specified policy. Additionally, notification and approval workflows are available for the user onboarding process. This functionality is designed to decrease the manual administration requirements of vendor management, as well as to provide a quicker path to access for new users. Step two, let's create a vendor group. Administrators can delegate the management of vendor and internal users to a trusted vendor administrator or another internal user. Administrators can enable vendor users to request or sign up for access directly through a customized portal page in Privileged Remote Access. We can assign the group policy, we can set up the vendor group here, and do everything within a single section for the vendor. Step three, let's create the portal branding. Each vendor group has their own customizable portal page. Administrators can create and customize portal pages for specific vendors, allowing users to register for the access they need when they need it. The vendor portal can be registered to specific email domains, as well as an existing network restriction for the vendor group. Vendor user self-registration through the vendor portal always requires approval for user creation by the defined administrator for the vendor group. This functionality is designed to decrease the manual administration requirements of vendor management, as well as provide a quicker path for access to new users. Next step, we'll send out an invitation to our portal page, and we're done. Mm -hmm.